Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back today with another haul video. So I also have something really exciting to debut and that is another magnet set. So if you are a watcher of any length, you might remember that I released these here. They are my Ivy Hot Air Balloon, Scotty Dog and Strawberry Magnet set. Those are still available. I have those listed on my Etsy store. But today I want to tell you about a brand new set, Christmas magnets. I'm really excited about these. So they are fashioned after 1950s, 1960s ceramic. Think of like the Noel, N-O-E-L, the ceramic characters that you can line up. Sometimes they're already as one whole thing. Let me show you these, these are so cool. I designed them myself. We have an N. There he is, Santa Claus holding the end. He's stringing up the lights. And then O, we have this little child here coming right out of the O. Then the E, we have an elf setting in the E. And then for L, we have a reindeer all tangled up in the lights. So that is the set of four magnet magnets noel magnet magnet <laughs> that's hard to say so these are currently online right now i believe there are 12.95 with shipping included so that is really awesome so you can find those man magnets <laughs> you can find those magnets and you can also find these here the original set that i released earlier this summer so those are fun. Speaking of Christmas, I found an amazing set of flatware at Goodwill. Outstanding. I did some research on these on worthpoint.com and was shocked, really shocked to find out what happened. So I have three boxes. Let me show you what I've got. First box, we have these serving pieces. So these are wonderful. It's known as Holly Berry, not the actress, Holly. Berry, right there. These were sold at Venture. So they're gold, and then they have this wonderful motif here at the bottom, as you can see, holly leaves and berries. So I especially like that the boxes are included, and that's true for all three things I'm gonna show you here. Just really in great shape. I don't think these were hardly used, and you know, as Christmas utensils go, you don't really use them that often to begin with. But let me show you up close that pattern. So these are really good sellers whenever they do come up online for resale. And let me just show you the rest of them then I'll kind of give you an idea because I might sell them all as a group. I don't know, it's kind of hard to, hard to say. Then I also have a box here of 16 pieces. So this would be of your like your general your general set. I haven't opened, I haven't really, it's heavy. I haven't really looked through here and made sure that they're all there. It's, it sort of doesn't matter. I mean, I mean, it does. I'll, I'll list how many are there, but I'm pretty sure they're all here. So they're, they're just wrapped up. So it's kind of hard to, to check them. So I have that box and then I know I'm taking too long. And then this other box right here. So two boxes of flatware, one box, one box of serving utensils. Okay, strangely, I found the exact same configuration on Worth Point, a sold listing that sold, was it two years ago? Sold for $130 for all three boxes. Then I dug a little deeper and found like 30, uh, I don't know if it had the serving pieces, but it had 36 utensils in it, 36 pieces, and that one sold for $200. So, not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Oh, by the way, these are made in Japan, it says. I will double check through all of these, make sure everything looks good, and then I'll decide. Um, but that's crazy. Oh, did I tell you how much I spent? They were $2 a box. <laughs> wow. So I actually bought these right off of the cart that they bring out. So they bring out the cart and then they leave it there for a little bit. And then after a while they take things off the cart and put them on the shelves. And the next thing that I'm about to, that I'm about to show you, I also pulled right off of the cart. Okay, so 
I wasn't going to get these because I sort of wrote off buying glassware, but I've not sold these before and I, I thought they were really fun. They are just awesome lowball glasses and they actually say lowball right on there. The yellow is kind of hard to see. Let me get the blue one here. Lowball. Like little scotch lowball glasses. It's not one. Here, focus. Could you, could you focus? Well, anyways, lowball. It's written really fun, mid-century. I have a set of eight. Two of each color. That's another reason why I bought them. So we've got two blue, two yellow, two white, and two red. These are made by Eva Zeisel, and they're just really cool. They sell for about four to five dollars each and i paid 50 cents a piece so i'm going to sell them as a set uh what is that eight times five that's about forty dollars or so right with shipping it's probably going to be about 55 maybe just shy of 60 dollars with free shipping shipping included and they are in really great shape dusty, dirty. I got to wash them all off, but there's no like real scratches or anything, which is really awesome. So these are a great pickup and those will be fun. I mean, they're going to be something, something kind of tricky to ship, but they're awesome. This next thing that I picked up at Goodwill is very cool. I have never found anything like it before. And that's why I bought it for $2. So it is milk glass on the top and it has this pink sprayed on. In this case, it is sprayed on the outside. So flashed on, lovely bottom here, <laughs> lovely design right there. And it was, oh, I told you the price already. So it's a, I believe a vanity box. Now the top has a rose on it and there are chips on the underside of it. But I figured since it's so unique, it hardly mattered but there's like a little bit of a chip right here. Uh, where else? On this, mostly on the corners, unfortunately. So I'm thinking that this is from like, what do you think? What are your guesses? Like late 40s, early 50s? Don't think the 70s. Don't think the 80s. Could be the 60s. It's tricky and I don't see any maker's mark or anything on it and I only found one other listing that sold of this and they didn't know either. So what am I going to do? I'm not sure, but it's very unique and I think I'm going to list it for about maybe $20, $28 with shipping included. That might be a stretch, but this is very rare, very interesting. I like the rose. I like the color. It's just super, super awesome. So. Hmm, we'll see. I think I just think it's really fun. So that's why I bought that one. Now the last thing. Oh no, I also got this. Okay, this was on the shelf, and I was hesitating whether or not I wanted to buy it. It's like a little votive holder, and it's actually uh, made in China, so that kind of goes against, you know, one of my rules. But I figured that it was pretty enough to warrant buying it and it had a des designer name on it. So let me show you. There's these little pink f flowers on it right there and they are in perfect shape. I looked those over and this beautiful bird right there. It is also marked right here on the inside with this uh, laurel wreath, wreath and it is made by Seymour Mann, Connoisseur Collection. And everything looks really fantastic about it. So I bought it for a dollar. Thought that was a pretty good price. Look this up. It's worth about $20 with shipping included. That's a $5 shipping allowance. So I'll make about, after every fee involved, I'll make probably like $12 in profit. But it's really cool. I think it's just a cute little item. So I bought it. Now the last thing I picked up, I was very unsure about it, but I just figured for the booth it could sell. Uh, I just thought the glaze was pretty as you can see here. So the blue and the purple, it's like a little vase, I guess. I have, I have seen this before. I just never did research what it was. Um, so if anybody happens to know 
what what the shape is called and if this is truly a vase. I think it is. So for two dollars, again, there's no makers. From, oh, that's strange. There's like a little look. Look, hold on. See it? It's like a little half leaf kind of etched in there. That's peculiar. Peculiar, huh? Okay. Well, maybe nothing. Maybe something. I'm not sure. I'll need to research this one. I haven't even looked this up yet, but it's pretty. So that's why I bought it, and we'll see what happens with this. But I think, of course, I scored amazingly well on that flatware. It was just an outstanding purchase. That was complete luck. Yes, it was. And it was on the top shelf, like the, the, the rolling cart's kind of big, so you can't, I couldn't even see it. But I, I, all I saw was like half, like part of a box like that, right? And I'm like, huh. So I pulled it down, looked at it, and I'm like, oh, that's nice. Christmas is coming up. Two dollars. <laughs> I just took them all, put them in my cart. So that was awesome. And you know, the, the glasses, you know, I said I wasn't going to be doing this anymore, but they are really cool. And I like that it's a complete set with two of each color. That's really cool. And one more time, I have to shout out my magnets because I have so much fun with them and I think they are adorable. The Noel magnets, they are for sale right now if you want to check those out. $12.95 with shipping included and you'll get the four pack here of Noel magnets. They're individual so you can arrange them horizontally or vertically. Uh, they come out to about 10 inches in width if you put them side by side. And they're about, um, I think, three to four inches tall. But they are just really fun. And then again, you'll find my other magnet magnets on Etsy as well. But these are just fun kishy strawberries. Uh, these were, I, I guess I never really mentioned the story about why, how some of these came about. The strawberries are actually fashioned after like a vintage glass, like drinking glasses, how they had these sprayed on color. See here, goes green to red. And that's intentional how it sort of fades down like that and then I put little hearts in for the seeds. So that's that one. The Scotty glasses, or the Scotty dogs, came about because I like figurines, and I like the chain dog figurines, and then Scotty dogs are really popular in the 40s and 50s, so that's really cool. That's pretty much why I did those. Then the hot air balloon, this is actually modeled after the design on a piece of Pyrex. It's the Pyrex pattern called Balloons. It's a 1958 promotional pattern that was put out as a chip and dip bowl set. They're very hard to find and they're very collectible. So if you notice my intro, all the little hot air balloons flying around, that pattern is from the balloon, the side of the bowl. So all of those are different balloons on there. And then I recently updated my logo, you might have noticed, and it's based on this, but just to keep it legal and kosher, I changed the logo up so it's specifically mine and it has nothing to do with this, but it's like intrinsically based on it. But uh, this just really cool. Oh, and then lastly, we have the ivy leaves. I shouldn't have to describe why these came about I'll just pick up a creamer and show you that. Franciscan Ivy, it's from I Love Lucy. They use those dishes. I have pretty much all of the dishes that I want right now. They use that pattern throughout all of the seasons, all six seasons uh, of I Love Lucy. So that's, that's a great one and that's why I did that. But these are just fun, fun kind of summery ones. And then of course we have the Christmas ones now. So hopefully you like those. But anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.